Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll show you how to fix headlight tap. Okay, like this Mercedes right here guys, the headlights are really expensive and one of the tap is broken. Only one of them, everything else is good, uh, the glass is really good, there is uh, no reason to buy a brand new headlight for that purpose. Okay, let me show you, I'm talking about, okay, this tap right here. And this could relate to any car, We've we fixed so many, we fixed on the Fiesta, okay, right here that we have, we fixed the bolt headlights, we fixed on the Toyota as well. And today guys, we're going to show you how to do that at home, how to fix it, okay, and uh, save yourself quite a bit of money. So, let's go ahead and start on it now, we'll just go ahead and remove it quick, not gonna waste your time watching that, and let's proceed with the next step. Okay, it's out already. Okay, that's our tap right there. So let's start on it now. Okay, guys, so thing that we'll be using. Okay, this is just uh, rubbing, cleaning our alcohol right here. Also, a uh, soldering gun, which is very inexpensive as well. We have links of the tools that we use in the description of the video, guys. Okay, this is one of the most important things as well. Epoxy, we use the one by Gorilla Glue, it's really strong and it sets on in 5 minutes. Water resistant, that's the one that we need and it's pretty strong as well, 3300 pounds per square inch. You can use some wire as well, you see wire, pliers and some sandpaper, okay, just a piece of sandpaper. So, what we are doing now, we are cleaning the area with rubbing alcohol where we will be working so you can get a Q-tip, okay and just clean where the tap contacts the headlight you gotta clean really good because you can see okay how dirty that thing is usually they get pretty dirty under the hood okay right there all right guys you gotta make sure that you go where it's supposed to go okay you can see like that wear a mask okay eye protection as well okay and with the hot Okay, soldering gun, we're going to melt the two plastics together, okay, so we can fix it in place. Okay, and if you do the repair, guys, it will be, it will be so strong that even if it breaks, it's not going to break at the same place. We've done so many in the past. Okay, so it's fixed in place now, you can see it's not moving anywhere, we're going to flip it on the other side, okay, and we're going to do the same thing right here. Okay, don't breathe in that plastic, uh, melting plastic, you have to use a uh, face mask, painting mask, because that's, uh, that's not good for you. Okay, just like that. Okay, we're going to get some wire and a few places we're going to put a reinforcement wire now. Okay, just two or three places probably we do, haven't decided yet. It really depends on the repair, but you get the idea for that. Okay, maybe three. Okay, excellent. So, what we're going to do now, guys, okay. We're going to place them, okay, where they're supposed to be. If, uh, use the pliers if we need to adjust the angle of it or anything, okay. We're actually going to remove that uh, barrier right there with the gun. And now we're going to hold it and melt the wire in the plastic on both sides. Okay, perfect. It's going to stay there. You see it's important to do something else okay, towards the end as well. Okay, when you hold it like that the wire gets hot and it actually goes in the plastic. Okay, like that. And we're going to do one more right here. So we can hold the two pieces together. Okay, this one there as well. We're going to let it cool for a little bit and see what else we need to do. Okay, next we get a small piece of sandpaper and we need to sand the area that we will be applying epoxy to. 
Okay, so usually you want to go about half an inch to an inch out of the area that's cracked. Okay, because if you don't scratch it guys, what happens is uh, he has that uh, polished look on the outside and the epoxy will peel off and will not bond with the plastic. We don't want that to happen. Okay, perfect. This side is good. We'll do the other one as much as we can as well. Okay, a little bit on this side as well. Gotta make sure that you go in the grooves and the canals to follow them. Okay, so it's scratched up and not shiny looking. Clean it with alcohol so you don't have any dust. Especially from the sandpaper. Everything needs to be clean for the next step. Now we're going to take the Gorilla glue and usually we mix in a small container. Okay, we don't need the gun anymore, soldering gun. We just... Uh, we've used that for so many projects, one will last you a long time guys. And uh, this one will definitely be enough for a headlight as well. Again, links will be in the description of the video if you need anything so you don't need to waste time looking for things. Okay, you need to apply equal amount of both, okay, left and right side, and you can install the cap so it doesn't dry and you can use it for another project if you need it to, okay, just like that. Next you need to mix them, guys, and remember, the moment you start mixing, okay, right now you have 5 minutes setting time, and depending on the temperature, this could differ, it could be less or more. In warmer weather it usually sets faster. Okay, so we're going to mix it really good now. If it's not mixed good, it's not going to work as good. Because one side activates the other. Okay, so now we'll start applying some. Okay, you gotta make sure that you put everywhere to follow the crack. Especially when you have the canals like that, that helps a lot because that's reinforcement. The wire will be inside, so it will be holding it really strong. It's kind of like a rebar when you do concrete. Okay, you can see here as well. And <coughs> even though the setting time is 5 minutes, uh, I would recommend not installing the headlight for 24 hours, after 24 hours that thing is really really strong like glass. Okay, right here we have a little bit. And later we'll paint it on top and it will, it will not be visible. Okay right, guys, so you can see we already we applied some on the bottom, okay, here as well. So that thing is ready, we'll go, go ahead, let it dry for 24 hours and see what we're going to do next. Okay right, guys, so this is the headlight, this is the top, okay, let me show you, okay, how strong that thing is. I'm bouncing that thing and it doesn't move at all, we put tape on the board, we're going to put a little bit of tape here and just spray it a couple of times with the black paint so we can cover uh, the epoxy now. Okay, just just a little bit, and you can see even the epoxy, it's, uh, it's see-through, it's uh, clear, so it's not that it's so ugly. You can actually even sand it if you want to, you can shape it as much as you want to. Okay, right there. Oh you guys saw after it dried you can see with that matte black okay it looks really really good not shiny at all uh, and it matches the rest of the headlights so that's how you guys repair a broken tap thank you for watching and see you guys next time